Snail, you, you have had the experience of selling four companies in the past. Now, what would you advise people who are who are willing to who are seeking funding at the moment uh, in the U.S.? Uh, how, what would you advise them? So I kind of uh, go with what Mega is saying: is the last thing that you want to do in your business is take the funding. <laughs> interesting. Okay. Very interesting. It, it is absolutely the last thing that you want to do because when you take the funding. You are actually giving up, you know, 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, and then going through series A, series B, series C, you are down to 10% or 20%. So yeah, sure, you went ahead and made a $100 million business, but what you take home is only maybe 10 out of that 100. And then you pay taxes from it. So it's not a whole lot. So it is better instead, my, my learning is that, I'm not saying don't take it. I'm saying take it as a last choice. If you sense and if you see the traction and you see the opportunity that truly just purely by adding the money, you are gonna grow significantly, then go ahead and take it. If not, try all other ways. If somebody's starting out, my suggestion would be First, start part-time. You know, they're working somewhere, they're paying their rent, they're paying their mortgage, um, they have a car to pay, they have medical insurance that is paid by their full-time job. Maybe they can start part-time. If that doesn't work, then maybe a husband and wife, one of the two quit the job and start the business, the second person still continue to work so that the, the primary money that puts food on table continues. Minimize your risk. If that doesn't work, that doesn't work, catch, you know, work, do something with your brother, with your father, with your mother, whoever, whoever can help and, and, and join. Whoever has money to do that. Time. Yeah. Somebody, but somebody in close family who, who thinks the same way, who trusts you and who is not after you to take the money back right away. Excellent. So Great. I would do that first. I would do the part-time first. One of, if these two things, and, and along with these two things, um, look for the project, going back to what I said earlier is, look for the customer first. Don't spend the money to create a product or develop a product. Outsource the product or a prototype creation to somebody in India so that it happens at a lower cost and you don't have to worry about it uh, as much as if you do it on your own. And then use your time and your effort and, and when you are in US to spend your time with the customer who wants to create that product. So that's, that's my suggestion. You know, somebody who is starting out, you know, this is what I would recommend. That is, this is what I did and it, it worked for me. Um, maybe it'll work for others. Interesting, cool. Those are some good piece of advice, how to minimize your risks.